So, Roma, congratulations. Thank and you. I've got to say, how does it feel, first of all? Um, the second one especially was a complete and utter surprise to me, so I don't think it's really sunk in, to be honest. Now, I have to say, it was really obvious that you were pretty much the only woman on that stage. <laughs> how does that feel, being in an industry which is so male-dominated? It's, it's a great industry, right? But I think we do have to work harder to get more women in the industry because, you know, I love it there and I haven't had major problems in it. And so why shouldn't other women be in the industry? We need to really work much harder at that. A lot of people say it's hard being a woman in such a male-dominated industry that, you know, there's quite a lot of chauvinism. Have you ever encountered anything like that? Um, not in my career in terms of professional office environments. Um, you know, especially at WSP, everyone's so supportive and it's a great environment to work in. Um, yes, on site, things are a little bit different. We still need to work a bit on that. It's a bit of a different culture. But I think you know, the more and more women we get on site, the more normal it will become. And then you won't face situations like that very much. Now, you obviously worked on The Shard, an incredibly iconic project. Tell me... The, the, I, I want to just look at highs and lows, basically. So what was the moment where you thought, oh my gosh, I don't think we're ever going to get this thing up? Um, it was more of a personal challenge that I faced because I'm actually really bad with heights. And I remember the first time I had to even just climb five floors on a scaffold stair. I was nearly in tears by the top of it. Uh, but I could see, you know, as the project progressed, that actually I got a lot, lot better at dealing with heights. So I think for me, that was the biggest personal challenge that I faced. Um, and you've been up to the top now? I have a number of times and I feel much safer now that all the glass is in, so it's great. But what drew you to helping design this massive structure when you're scared of heights? Well, it's an amazing building. Like, how many times in your career do you get buildings like that? It's, you know, once if you're lucky. So it's just been a brilliant experience for me. We've had a great team on the project. I've learned an incredible amount and, you know, it's, it's just there now for my whole lifetime and it's, it's such a legacy for London. Well, you've kind of answered my next question about the high point of working on the Shard, but tell me the moment where you thought, I'm never going to beat this. I think standing on the very top floor of the Shard, you know, where it's, there was no one else there, it was really peaceful and that's when I thought, you know, wow, I've really done something, been part of something really amazing. You've arrived. So tell me, apart from the Shard, obviously that is so iconic that, yeah. that you know, that's going to end up being a really defining moment of your career, which I'm sure will be very long and illustrious. But tell me, pick out some other projects that you're really proud of personally that you've been involved in. So my very first project that I call my bridge baby is um, a little footbridge in Newcastle. And I love that because it's my first project and within a year of my career, I had a little footbridge built. So that always holds a special place in my heart. And um, at the moment, we're doing some really interesting um, structures above railways in London. And I think that that's really um, kind of the way um, of the future because it's urban, it's, you know, we've got a very dense population in London and, that, you know, that's how we're going to have to build now. So we're coming up with new ways of doing that in a way that people will be comfortable living there. So what's the next project? Oh, I've, I've got quite a few at the moment. So, yeah, no, they're all, they're all brilliant. So a big range of stuff going on at the moment. Another skyscraper? Um, not, not, not at the minute, no. I'm, I'm quite enjoying working sort of closer to the ground, actually, which is a nice change. But you've got to conquer your fear of heights again. I, I am much better, I promise I am. <laughs> and of course, you were selected to work on the M&S campaign, which is, you know, couldn't be more different from your day job. How did you find that? It was um, extremely surreal. So for a number of days after they got in touch with me, I still didn't believe that this was actually happening to me, especially once I heard about the other names involved. I said, you know, why are they asking me to be a part of this? But, you know, one of the reasons I really wanted to do it is because I wanted to show women, I wanted to show parents and children that um, you can be an engineer, you can be a woman, you can wear flowery dresses, and all of that can go together, that one person can embody all of those different things. So I've got two young girls. What do, what do you say to them to get them into engineering? Oh, I just, all I have to do is tell them what engineers do. And I, seem, I think that kids are absolutely fascinated by that. Um, and I think it's just all about awareness. Give them lots of construction toys to play with, get them to build stuff. And I think that will get them hooked. Well, they've got their Bob the Builder hats. You're a piece. That's brilliant. Excellent. Good start. <laughs> Roma, congratulations again. Thank you. Thank you so much.